Section. Introduction. In this section, we discuss the challenges posed by large language models, LLMs, which, despite their impressive abilities, often make confident logical and factual errors. These errors can significantly impact reasoning tasks, where one mistake can ruin the entire solution. A common method to tackle this issue is called best of n. Here, the LLM generates multiple candidate solutions for a problem, and a trained reward model, or verifier, ranks these solutions to select the best one. The success of this method depends heavily on the accuracy of the verifier, highlighting the need for improved training techniques. Typically, LLM-based verifiers are trained as discriminative reward models that assign numerical scores to candidate solutions, classifying them as correct or incorrect. However, this scoring method does not take full advantage of the text generation capabilities that LLMs are designed for. Consequently, these discriminative models miss out on the strengths of generative LLMs, such as unified instruction tuning and chain of thought reasoning. We propose a new approach called GenRM, which trains verifiers using next token prediction to better utilize the text generation abilities of LLMs. In this method, the verifier generates a prompt like, is the answer correct, and represents the score as the probability of a single token, such as, yes, or, no. GenRM supports chain of thought reasoning by allowing the verifier to generate a rationale before predicting correctness, assuming rationales are available during training. To enhance the accuracy of these verifiers, we can use majority voting by sampling multiple rationales and averaging the scores for the yes token. This approach effectively utilizes additional computation during testing. Furthermore, GenRM's training method allows us to combine solution generation with verification, which has been challenging in the past, potentially improving verification through knowledge transfer. Our results show that GenRM outperforms traditional discriminative reward models, LLM as a judge, and self-consistency methods on various reasoning tasks, including algorithmic string manipulation and math reasoning. For instance, when using a specific GenRM model to verify outputs from another model, we observed a significant improvement in the number of problems solved, surpassing other leading models. Additionally, we found that generative verifiers scale well with larger datasets and model sizes, and they perform better than LLM as a judge when we increase computation by sampling multiple rationales for majority voting. Overall, these findings suggest that generative verifiers have great potential to enhance the reasoning capabilities of LLMs. Section Summary In this section, we discuss the limitations of current large language models, LLMs, in reasoning tasks due to their tendency to make confident errors, and we propose a new approach called GenRM that leverages next token prediction for training verifiers. This method enhances verification accuracy by utilizing the generative capabilities of LLMs, allowing for better reasoning performance through techniques like majority voting and improved integration of solution generation and verification. Section. Gen RM. Verification as Next Token Prediction. In this section, we discuss Gen RM, which stands for Verification as Next Token Prediction. We note that traditional verifiers based on large language models, LLMs, do not take advantage of their text generation abilities. To improve this, we propose training verifiers that can generate text using a method called Next Token Prediction. Instead of giving a separate score for correctness, GenRM uses the LLM's probability distribution over tokens to represent whether a solution is correct. This approach maintains GenRM's generation capabilities, as the verification decision is treated as just another token. It also allows us to benefit from unified training for both generating and verifying solutions, as well as enabling reasoning and computation during inference. In its simplest form, GenRM predicts if a solution is correct by outputting a single token, either yes or no. We achieve this by maximizing the likelihood of yes for correct solutions and no for incorrect ones. We minimize the supervised fine-tuning SFT loss on a dataset of problem solution pairs, where the target is a yes or no token. During inference, we use the likelihood of the yes token as the verifier's score 
which reflects the verifier's confidence and helps reduce miscalibration. GenRM also integrates reward modeling, which differentiates between correct and incorrect solutions, with SFT for generating correct solutions. We can adjust the data mixture in the SFT loss to include both verification and generation tasks. By using a verification dataset, we minimize the loss while controlling the ratio of verification to generation tasks. This unified training enhances performance in both areas through positive transfer. For complex reasoning tasks, we introduce chain of thought verifiers, Gen RM COT. These verifiers can generate intermediate reasoning steps before deciding on the correctness of a solution, which helps catch subtle errors that direct verifiers might miss. We train COT verifiers by minimizing the SFT loss on a dataset that includes problem solution pairs and corresponding verification rationales, which can be generated by humans or LLMs. During inference, we first generate a COT rationale and then use the probability of yes to assign a correctness score. When using COT verifiers, we may encounter different reasoning paths that yield varying correctness probabilities for the same problem solution pair. To address this, we employ majority voting, generating multiple COT rationales and averaging their scores. This method helps mitigate the impact of individual reasoning errors and allows GenRM COT to utilize additional computation during inference, unlike traditional verifiers. Lastly, we explore the use of synthetic verification rationales to reduce the cost and difficulty of verifying LLM solutions with human generated rationales. A simple approach is to prompt the model to verify step by step, but this often results in low quality rationales. Instead, we use reference-guided grading, providing a reference solution alongside the problem and solution to help the LLM identify reasoning errors. However, this method is only applicable during training, as we lack reference solutions for test problems. Section Summary In this section, we propose GenRM, a generative verifier that utilizes next token prediction to assess solution correctness by leveraging the LLM's probability distribution allowing for unified training of solution generation and verification. We also introduce chain of thought, caught, reasoning to enhance verification accuracy through intermediate reasoning steps, and explore the use of synthetically generated rationales to improve the quality of verification without relying solely on human-generated content. Section. Experiments. In this section, we aim to show how effective next token prediction is compared to other methods for training verifiers. We compare GenRM and standard verifiers across various reasoning tasks to answer several key questions. How does GenRM stack up against standard discriminative verifiers in reasoning tasks? Does unified training of GenRM enhance both generation and verification performance? Can GenRM leverage chain of thought reasoning and test time computation to boost its performance? And how does GenRM perform as we increase data and model size? We focus on specific reasoning tasks, including last letter concatenation, where we concatenate the last letters of a list of words, and word sorting, where we sort words alphabetically. For both tasks, we train verifiers on lists of up to four words and test them on longer lists. We also use the GSM-8K dataset to assess grade school math reasoning, training with a mix of correct and incorrect solutions. For our comparisons, we evaluate GenRM against standard verification methods, including discriminative ERM, which is the common approach for training verifiers, self-consistency, where we sample multiple solutions and choose the most frequent one, and LLM as a judge, which uses a pre-trained model to verify answers based on generated rationales. Our evaluation protocol follows previous work, focusing on best-of-end performance, which measures the percentage of problems solved correctly by the verifier. We also report ERM accuracy, which assesses how well the verifier classifies solutions as correct or incorrect. For training, we utilize open-weight GEMMA models, specifically GEMMA 2B for algorithmic tasks and various sizes for GSM-8K. We set hyperparameters for unified training, with specific values for different tasks. We generate rationales for training using both algorithmic methods and reference-guided grading. 
When comparing GenRM to prior verification methods, we find that GenRM, which predicts yes, no for verification, can match or exceed the performance of discriminative ERM across all tasks. This suggests that next token prediction helps GenRM utilize the strengths of pre-trained models effectively. Additionally, GenRM COT, which integrates chain of thought reasoning with majority voting, shows even better performance, particularly in algorithmic tasks, closely aligning with Oracle Verifier performance. On GSM 8K, GenRM COT consistently outperforms other methods, demonstrating its ability to identify subtle reasoning errors that discriminative verifiers might miss. Section Summary In this section, we demonstrate the effectiveness of GenRM for next token prediction in verification tasks, comparing it to standard verifiers across various reasoning problems. Our findings indicate that GenRM, particularly when enhanced with chain of thought reasoning, outperforms traditional methods, effectively leveraging pre-trained models to improve verification accuracy. Section. Unifying Generation and Verification. In this section, we explore the integration of solution generation and verification. By using the next token prediction approach in GenRM, we consistently enhance verification performance across various tasks, as shown in our figures. This improvement is evident for both direct and chain of thought, caught, based verifiers, indicating that training the verifier to mimic correct solutions is generally beneficial. Notably, when we include caught verification data in the generator's training, we see enhanced solution generation performance for the GenRM caught verifier, as demonstrated by improved best of end scores with the Oracle verifier. This suggests that training a generator to verify through next token prediction can enhance its understanding of the generation process. Overall, our findings indicate that merging solution generation and verification is mutually advantageous. Next, we discuss scaling data, model size, and inference time computation. We can scale test time computation with GenRM COT by sampling multiple COTs and using majority voting. Our results show that the GenRM COT verifier's performance improves with more votes at test time across different model sizes, surpassing greedy decoding performance with just four votes. The fine tuned GenRM COT verifier outperforms the LLM as a judge which also uses the COT method but relies on a more advanced model. Regarding model size, we demonstrate that the performance of generative verifiers increases positively with larger model capacities. Our experiments, which use a fixed dataset, reveal that larger models learn more effectively from the same data, aligning with our expectations based on the next token prediction loss. For COT verifiers, GenRM COT introduces an additional data scaling dimension by increasing the number of rationales per solution. Our findings on GSM 8K indicate that using multiple rationales significantly boosts generative verifier performance. We believe this is due to the noise in model generated rationales, where training on multiple rationales helps mitigate overfitting to this noise. Both ERM accuracy and best of N accuracy improve with increased data with the number of rationales having a more substantial impact. When we focus on direct gen RM, we find that it outperforms standard verifiers even when trained solely on verification data, as we increase the number of solutions per problem. This demonstrates the effectiveness of framing verification as a next token prediction task. Unified training with solution generation data further enhances gen RM verifier performance across all data scales. We also observe that the optimal loss coefficient for solution generation data follows an inverted U-shape, where too little or too much negatively affects verification, while intermediate values yield the best results. We also examine the impact of synthetic rationale quality. Our results on GSM 8K show that the GenRM COT verifier can outperform both discriminative and direct GenRM verifiers without relying on human written rationales highlighting the potential of LLM-generated rationales. However, the quality of these synthetic rationales is crucial. Using reference-guided grading during rationale generation significantly boosts performance, indicating that LLMs perform better at identifying reasoning errors when they have a reference solution for comparison. Importantly, 
we achieve these results without needing a more advanced model for generating verification rationales. In the related work section, we discuss reward models and verifiers. Traditionally, RMs and verifiers are trained as discriminative models through binary classification, predicting the correctness of solutions or preferences between them. In contrast, Gen RM represents correctness decisions using the log probability of yes and no tokens, allowing it to leverage the generation capabilities of LLMs more effectively. We also note that while some approaches prompt powerful LLMs to act as verifiers, our experiments show that trained Gen RM verifiers outperform these off the shelf models. Even the most advanced proprietary LLMs fall short compared to trained RMs on popular benchmarks, especially for reasoning tasks. Our work emphasizes the importance of training generative verifiers and utilizing COT rationales. Finally, we highlight that Gen RM uniquely allows the same generative verifier to be co trained with a generation objective. This means that when presented with a problem, the model learns to produce a solution, and when given a problem with a candidate solution, it learns to verify that solution. This approach differs from others that attempt to unify generation and verification, as GenRM treats verification as next token prediction, enabling simultaneous training on both tasks without needing separate reward modeling. Our results indicate that even using GenRM to produce a single verification token surpasses standard RMs, showcasing the effectiveness of our method.